Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. We'll see the remaining slides. Okay. So first today we are going to see about the project roles and responsibilities. Project roles and responsibilities. So who are the main persons behind the key roles? Like project manager, he is one responsible for managing the project. So he is the head. Then project sponsor, who gives money, who who sponsors, who gives money, gives money to the uh, project fund. He funds money, provides financial, see financial resources for the project. Okay. Then senior manager, any one senior to the project manager and the organization. So he is actually a head. Senior manager is a is a head. He's a head for the. He he gives uh, his opinions and decisions to the project manager. He's like an advisor. He acts as an advisor. Okay. Then functional manager. He owns the resources working on the project. So he has all the uh, important uh, documents related to the resources, important documents, and authorizations related to the resources. Okay. Then team, team, a group of team is a group of persons where the resources are assigned to the project. So it's a group of person. They are the group of person, a group of engineers working on the project. Stakeholder, stakeholder is the owner. Okay, stakeholder is owner. Anyone who will be affected by the project, including those mentioned above, because he is the one uh, sole responsible. He he puts more. Uh, he has more responsibility on uh, budget issues, budget issues, money issues, money issues. So he's. The one who will be affected if there is any uh, termination in the project. Okay, then project role responsibilities. See, we have two types of uh, responsibilities over here, like project sponsor and senior management. Here, first is the key role in formal acceptance. So, what is this formal acceptance? Formal acceptance actually it is a legal. It is a legal uh, acknowledgement. that the project deliverables have been delivered as intended like it is used to certify the project whether it is uh, complete or to release the project from any other future application so it is to certify they give the certify acceptance the acceptance means they give the certification certify they certify whether it is done or complete so they are giving full authorization okay and to release the project from the organization to any further applications yes then uh, we have uh, many it provides may provide key milestones and due dates milestones a uh, particular date like you are having some mega changes in your technology so it acts as a milestone and due dates is the schedule due dates is the schedule then it provides input to risk schedules it provides input to the risk thresholds to show so it provides the data or resources it provides data resources to the it provides data into the risk issues if there is any any shortages any shortages any drawbacks or any barriers so to make it smooth they provide with the necessary inputs okay according to pmi that is according to project management institute does not it does not sign charter so, so charter what is a charter charter is important in project management because it ensures that that uh, the project manager understands the sponsors needs so the project manager understands the sponsors needs and requirements it provides the information how to get the project started it also acts as a reference document it acts as a reference document then then you have this um, you know project managers they are the load because they are play the lead role in planning executing pm that is project managers they play the lead, uh, lead role in planning executing monitoring controlling and closing the projects and they are actually accountable for the entire project scope project team resources and also the success and failure of the project so they are the project manager and senior manager he allocates the resources to the project he allocates his sanctions he sanctions the resources to the projects then said priorities priorities means giving uh, top preference giving top preference to the projects then uh, approve final project plan sanction sanctions again sanctions pass okay then sign again there is project charter again i said in the beginning it is a document it is a reference document it is a reference document then resolves issues beyond project manager's control so if there is uh, something that is it cannot be controlled by the project manager it can be control issues like uh, budget issues resource shortages then equipment then workforce workers etc